talking to the Rolex wearing, diamond ring wearing, kiss stealing, woo, wheeling, dealing, limousine riding, jet flying, son of a gun, and I'm having a hard time holding these alligators down. Woo! You are tuned in to the best, and that is no other than G5 Jeff TV. Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. Please share this video, support your boy. Support good content at all times. All social media is in the description box, and please, please hit that bell icon so you can be notified when I drop that heat. Now, the co-main event on the Leo Santa Cruz Abner Mares card is Jermel Charlo, the WBC 154 pound champion of the world. Defending his title against Austin, no doubt, Trout. And I know you guys probably wondering why I didn't do a breakdown and prediction video for this fight. Um, it's, it's simply because I don't even see this fight as like a 60-40 fight. I, I see it more like a 70-30, 75-25 fight. And... I really didn't want to do a prediction video on it because I don't see more than one scenario where Austin Trout would actually get a victory in this fight. The thing with Austin Trout is he has the ability to outbox you. But the thing is, he doesn't have the ability to outbox you for the majority of the fight or all of the fight and that's his problem and you know when you've been around the block a couple times as far as you know Austin Trout is concerned like things is not ultimately going to change you know in this fight like Austin Trout he is who he is I like him as a fighter he's a slick fighter he's a southpaw he's beating Miguel Cotto in his career um I thought the Austin Trout Canelo Alvarez fight should have been a draw or could have been a draw if it wasn't for the knockdown. And he's been in competitive fights his entire career, but Austin Trout is not next level. You know what I'm saying? He's not next level and he doesn't have a lot of pop in them punches. So in order for you to land a lucky shot, you know, you have to have the power to put a guy out with that lucky shot. Now, I don't even think Austin Trout has the power to put anybody out with a lucky shot or with a shot that his opponent doesn't see. So I really didn't want to do a breakdown and prediction video because people would have been like, oh, well, G5, Jeff, you just that was another victory in a bag like anybody could have called that. You know, so I just decided to go against it. But. This question does come up. If Jamel Charlo beats Austin Trout, who is a credible opponent, despite everything I just said, he is a very credible opponent at 154. Where do you rank Jamel Charlo at 154? Is he the best 154 pounder in the world? Do you have him as the best 154 pound fighter in the world right now? I mean, y'all let me know because right now is it's i would say that jamel charlo is the best 154 pounder in the world right now i think he's i think he's better than jared swift heard um jared heard right now you can tell he has some skills he has some ability but he depends on his size he depends on his size and that's what gets him through because there's a war of attrition with Jared Swift heard and he can't play that game with absolutely everybody. He can't play that game with everybody. Uh another middleweight that used to do that was um Kelly Pavlik back in the day. Kelly Pavlik used to you know just overwhelm guys with the size and then you know just take it from there cuz he was always the biggest guy in the division until he met up with somebody that was his own size and and then he ended up having trouble and he moved up and fought Bernard Hopkins and it was just downhill from there. But I feel like Jamel Charlo is more talented than Jared Swift heard. Who would win that fight? I'm not sure. Um 
I know that Jared Swift Heard can't be taking those shots from Jamel Charlo uh, like he was doing against Ares Landy Laura. You got to factor in Ares Landy Laura as well, you know, in the equation. Even though he lost to Jared Swift Heard, there's some people that thought Ares Landy Laura won that fight. And Ares Landy Laura fought very well in that fight. He let his hands go in that fight. But I think the key with the Ares Landy Laura Jared Swift Heard fight is that Jared Swift Heard did not allow. It was Landy Laura to hold him. He did not allow him to hold and clinch and get those uh, breaks from the referee that would give him the four or five seconds of breathing room. He had absolutely no breathing room in that fight, and that was thanks to Jared Swift Heard. But I don't know if that rematch is going to happen, but it was Landy Laura has been the top guy at 154 for a long period of time. So you have to throw him into the mix as well. But Austin Trout is the guy that you have to beat if you want to claim that you're next level. Ares Landy Laura has beat Austin Trout. Jarrett Swift Heard has beat Austin Trout. Jamel Charlo's twin brother, Jamal Charlo, has beat Austin Trout. So Canelo has beat Austin Trout. So he's the he's the stepping stone. Austin Trout is too good for me to call him a gatekeeper. But Austin Trout is the stepping stone. He's the guy that you have to fight if you're saying that you're one of the guys at 154 pounds. And that's what Jamel Charlo is going to do Saturday night. And it's going to be interesting to see how Jamel Charlo performs because I believe Jamel Charlo is the goods. I, I think he's the goods with Derrick James. You know, um, Derek James has done wonders for Jamel Charlo, and he fights completely different. He's putting some more authority in his punches. He's sitting down on his shots, and, you know, he's not leaving it up to his opponent to try to outbox him. You know, before he got with Derek James, there would be fights where you like, all right, well, Jamel Charlo might get outboxed in this fight. That's not really the case anymore because he has the ability to put the pressure on and actually get his guy up out of there. And he's throwing more effective shots since he's been with Derrick James. Now, another reason why I didn't do a prediction video is because Austin Trout is a southpaw. He's a southpaw. Jermell Charlo sees a southpaw all the time in Earl Spence. And if Jermell Charlo can handle Earl Spence, who is a southpaw, I don't think he'll have any problems adjusting to Austin Trout. And it, even though Austin Trout has a different southpaw style than Jamel, than um, Earl Spence, the thing is, Austin Trout can't do anything in a southpaw stance that Earl Spence can't do. So Jamel Charlo is in a really, really good place. He's in a good spot in terms of this fight. Um, I fully expect for him to win this fight. But where do you guys have him ranked if he beats Austin Trout? Is he the number one guy at 154? Uh, is he just in your top three, top five? How do you have it? Um, y'all let me know what y'all think. G5 Jeff TV. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Please share this video. Support your boy. Support good content at all times. I appreciate y'all. Peace.